This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news, all right? This is the second video I've seen this week where it's a bromance. <laughs> it's a bromance vacation, not 21 Savage and Drake rent a 100-foot yacht. Just those, just the two of them out in the middle of the ocean. And they find a woman that's about to drown, a BBW model. Um, Drake's promoting BBW, which is fine, okay? Precious, precious uh, XX, whatever, that's her name right there. She, you know, they, they go pick her up, and then she ends up, uh, after they care for her and bring her back to health and feed her, she drugs them, and all of her female friends come on and destroy and blow the boat up and get away on a, a boat. So it's like... Bring a woman into your life, build her up, and she destroys you? Is that the theme of this? <laughs> uh, why is 21 Savage and Drake on a 100-foot yacht, just the two of them? Is this a... Uh, I mean, what's, do, are they trying to tell us something? I like Drake and everything. It just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense why they're on this 100-foot yacht together, just the two of them. Singing to each other, mm -hmm. you know. I'll I'll spin bow you. <laughs> it's it's getting a little, you know. I don't. Know. Who writes these treatments? He's like, yo, Dre, we're gonna be in a yacht. Oh, uh, David Myers. Somehow he brought him back. Uh, David Myers hasn't made videos since it was a million dollars a video. It's easy to make a video that's hot for a million dollars, right? <laughs> This is the guy who did, I think Dave Myers did like, he, did, he was doing everybody's videos back in, two, you know, 1998 to 2004, or maybe three. Um, he was, you know, that was the Benny Boom, Hype Williams era. Um, someone caught a future, I think this had to be at the Grammys or something. It says, tell Steve Harvey I don't want her. <laughs> You know, from that 42 Doug song. Uh, T.I. comments under Boosie's post. He really only did this to promote his average restaurant in Atlanta called Trap Cafe. This is the second restaurant that's failing. I'm sorry to say. Okay, I'm not trying to be negative. Because 2 Chains is doing well with his restaurant. There's many There's many rappers that have s some success. Like, eh, Jeezy hasn't had success. He, he His went out of business. He has some steakhouse. Some rappers have had success with their restaurants. Um, Two Chains did with his cafe. Uh, was it Escobar or something like that? A couple of rappers have had success in Atlanta. Let's just say that. T.I., I would have stayed clear of the restaurant game after Scales, 925, whatever it was called. It, that, that went out of business. Doesn't look like Trap City Cafe is doing that well. 3.5 stars. Uh, people complain about overpriced lamb chops, overpriced... Uh, watered down drinks. Bo this isn't the type of place Boosie wants to go. He says, say, he calls him boy. Say boy. That's disrespectful to call somebody boy. I'm sorry. Hey, boy. That's disrespect immediately. You post, uh, you post to be up here at Trap City Cafe checking this paperwork and straightening your face uh, or else you flaw. According to the convict law. Bruh. Sorry. I don't think Boosie's going there. <laughs> so he opened this cafe um, in Bankhead area. It's like, it's not deep in Bankhead. It's like on the edge. I know where it is. It's, it's near his little, um, it's near that museum. I like the museum he opened. That was good. I don't, I'm sure it doesn't, you know, it's like, it's a timepiece. Atlanta should really give... That museum, I'll give T.I. this. They should give that museum, um, it should be exempt from any, like, taxes or anything because it's a time it's a time capsule, you know? I, I can't see it making a ton of money, so the money that gets brought in should be able to pay for the rent, you know? And they should keep building it out and having a time capsule of music in Atlanta. I think that's important. Um... It should also have an exhibit for Outcast, even though it's not trap music. I just think that it should be just looked at as a time capsule of um, music in Atlanta and the time periods. I think that's important. Um, someone said, Little Lamb Chops. 
three little lamb chops. I assume they're charging like thirty dollars for three lamb chops. Um, this is the, when his other restaurant went under. He's had a bad history with restaurants, but he's determined to have a restaurant. I don't know what Jermaine Dupri is talking about here. He said he spent ten thousand dollars every Monday night for ten years going to Magic City to play some record. I don't know what record he's talking about. That's a lot of money, bro. That's millions of dollars. <laughs> People were saying he spent more than he's worth on that. Uh, don't let these net worth things. They either overshoot your net worth or way undershoot somebody's net worth. That's what I've noticed with net worths online. They're just guesstimating. Kim Kardashian took out a $48 million mortgage to purchase a Malibu mansion. Jeez. That is not enough to have your house in Calabasas. Sometimes you just got to get away from your house that's only 40 minutes away and go to the beach. I wonder why she took out a mortgage. You know how many mortgages you would have to take out to have a $48 million mortgage? It doesn't just, you can't just get that in one mortgage. It's called a jumbo mortgage. You have to take out multiple mortgages. I could not see, and plus, most people would tell you, I don't know how that works. You know, like, I put, you know, for my mortgage, I put it on my taxes. I don't know how much you really get off on it. Um, I'm sure there's some tax benefits to taking a mortgage out, maybe. But still, mortgage rates are horrible right now. The benefit has to be even worse. Like, mortgage rates are at, like, what, 7%? And that's for everybody. I don't care how good your credit score is. Six or seven percent. The most, best you might be able to get is six percent on a 15 year or something. Do the math. That you're paying like a lot more. She'll probably be paying, I don't know, $70 million for a $48 million house. And plus the house is overpriced. We're in an overpriced market. It's not a great, just, but, but here's the thing. This was what does make sense. If you don't spend the money, it gets taken from you. Like you got to have expenses. Like if she made 400 million, maybe, I mean, you never know, right? Maybe she made 200 million that year. I don't know. It seems like she made a bulk of money uh, recently from her makeup line. Even if it was fifty million, say right, because um, I think she's a billionaire now. That you would have to like write that off so you don't pay as much tax. But oh well. Lotto says she's not charging upcoming rappers for features. Yeah, but you're not just doing features with anybody. Plus, is it worth it to get a Lotto feature without the label pumping the the music? It's not going to go anywhere. That's why people listen to Lotto's music. It gets paid to be posted everywhere. Don't let it fool you, man. These record companies, everything, they have contracts with a lot of blogs. And they pay yearly for a certain amount of posts to promote things, okay? Hey, make sure this artist gets promoted here, here, here. That's how it works. Uh, all righty. I'll check you guys in the next one. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button. Peace.